loving heavenly father thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us oh father god as your word says your your word is a light to our path and lamp to our feet oh father god lead us in the correct way and in the correct direction so that we can walk correctly oh father god in the name of jesus we pray amen exodus chapter 8 and the lord spoke unto moses go unto pharaoh and say unto him thus says the lord let my people go that they may serve me and if thou refuse to let them go behold i will smite all thy borders with frogs and the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly which shall go up and come into thine house and into thine bed chamber and upon thine bed and into the house of thy servants and upon thy people and into thy ovens and into thy kneading troughs and the frogs shall come up both on thee and upon thy people and upon all thy servants and the lord spoke unto moses say unto aaron stretch forth thine hand with a rod over the streams over the rivers and over the ponds and cause frogs to come up upon the land of egypt and aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of egypt and the frogs came up and covered the land of egypt and the magicians did so with their enchantments and brought up frogs upon the land of egypt then pharaoh called for moses and aaron and said enter the lord that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people and i will let the people go that they may do sacrifice unto the lord and moses said unto pharaoh command me when shall i enter it for thee and for the servants and for the people to destroy the frogs from the land and the houses that they may remain in the river only and he said tomorrow and he said be it according to thy word that thou mayest know that there is none like unto the lord a god and the frogs shall depart from thee and from thy houses and from thy servants and from thy people they shall remain in river only and moses and aaron went out from pharaoh and moses cried unto the lord because of the frogs which he had brought against pharaoh and the lord did according to the word of moses and the frogs died out of the houses out of the villages and out of the fields and they gathered them together upon heaps and the land stank but when pharaoh saw that there was respite he hardened his heart and hearkened not unto them as the lord had said and the lord said unto moses say unto aaron stretch out thy rod and smite the dust of the land that it may become lice throughout all the land of egypt and they did so for aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and smote the dust of the earth and it became lice in man and in beast all the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of egypt and the magicians did so with their enchantments to bring from lice but they could not so there were lice upon man and upon beast then the magician said unto pharaoh this is the finger of god and pharaoh's heart was hardened and he hearkened not unto them as the lord had said and the lord said unto moses rise up early in the morning and stand before pharaoh lo he cometh forth to the water and say unto him thus said the lord let my people go that they may serve me else if thou wilt not let my people go behold i will send swarms of flies upon thee and upon thy servants and upon thy people and into thy houses and the houses of the egyptians shall be full of swarm of flies and also the ground whereon they are and i will set apart in that day the land of goshen in which my people dwell that no swarms of flies shall be there to the end thou mayest know that i am the lord in the midst of the earth and i will put a division between my people and thy people tomorrow shall this shine sign be and the lord did so and there came a grievous swarm of flies into the house of pharaoh and into the servants houses and into all the land of egypt the land was corrupted by reason of swarm of flies and pharaoh called for moses and for aaron and said go ye sacrifice to your god in the land and moses said it is not proper so to do for we shall sacrifice the abomination of egyptians to the lord our god lo shall we sacrifice the abomination of the egyptians before their eyes and will they not stone us 
we will go three days journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God as he shall command us. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go that ye may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness, only ye shall not go very far away, enter it for me. And Moses said, Behold, I go out from thee, and I will enter the Lord, that the swarm of lies may depart from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people tomorrow. But let not Pharaoh deal deceitfully any more in not letting the people go to sacrifice to the Lord. And Moses went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses, and he removed the swarm of lies from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people, there remained not one. And Pharaoh hardened his heart at this time also, neither would he let the people go. Amen. Exodus chapter 9 Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if thou refuse to let them go, and wilt hold them still, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thy cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep. There shall be very grievous plague. And the Lord shall separate between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt, and there shall nothing die of all that belongs to the children of Israel. And the Lord appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow the Lord shall do this thing in the land. And the Lord did that thing on the next day, and all the cattle of the Egypt died, but of the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. And Pharaoh sent, and, behold, there was not one of the cattle of the Israelites dead. And the heart of the Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. And the Lord said unto Moses and unto Aaron, Take to you handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it toward the heaven in the sight of Pharaoh. And it shall become small dust in all the land of Egypt, and shall be a boil breaking forth with ulcers upon man and upon beast throughout all the land of Egypt. And they took ashes of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses sprinkled it up toward heaven, and it became a boil breaking forth with ulcers upon man and upon beast. And the magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Egyptians. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus said the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For I will at this time send all my plagues upon thine heart, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that thou mayest know there is none like me in all the earth. For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence, that thou shalt be cut off from the earth. And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up to show in thee my power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. As yet extollest thou thyself against my people, that thou wilt not let them go? Behold, tomorrow, about this time, I will cause it to rain a very grievous hail, such as hath not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof, even until now. Send therefore now, and gather thy cattle, and all that thou hast in the field, for upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field, and shall not be brought home, the hail shall come down upon them, and they shall die. He that feared the word of the Lord among the servants of Pharaoh made his servants and his cattle flee into the houses. And he that regarded not the word of the Lord left his servants and his cattle in the field. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch forth thine hand toward heaven, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, upon man and upon beast, and upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail, and fire ran along upon the ground, and the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. So there was hail, and fire mingled with the hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt, since it became a nation. 
and the hail smote throughout all the land of Egypt, all that were in the field, both man and beast, and the hail smote every herb of the field, and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were there, no hail. And Pharaoh sent, and called for Moses and Aaron, and said unto them, I have sinned this time, the Lord is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Entreat the Lord, for it is enough, that there may be no mighty thunderings and hail, and I will let you go, and ye shall stay no longer. And Moses said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto the Lord, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail, that thou mayest know that the earth is the Lord's. But as for thee and thy servants, I know ye will not fear the Lord God. And the flax and the barley was smitten, for the barley was in the ear, and the flax was in bud. But the wheat and the spelt were not smitten, for they were not grown up. And Moses went out of the city from Pharaoh, and spread abroad his hands to the Lord, and the thunders and hail ceased, and the rain was not poured upon the earth. And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and hail and the thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more, and hardened his heart, he and his servants. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, neither would he let the children of Israel go, as the Lord had spoken by Moses. Amen. Exodus chapter 10. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go into Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I might show these my signs before him. And that thou mayest tell in the years of thy son and of thy son's son what things I have wrought in Egypt and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know that I am the Lord. And Moses and Aaron came in unto Pharaoh and said unto him, Thus said the Lord God of Hebrews, How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring the locusts into thy border, and they shall cover the face of the earth, that one cannot be able to see the earth, and they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped, which remaineth unto you from the hail, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field. And they shall fill thy houses, and the houses of all thy servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, which neither thy fathers nor thy fathers' fathers have seen, since the day that they were upon the earth unto this day. And he turned himself, and went out from Pharaoh. And Pharaoh's servants said unto him, How long shall this man be a snare to us? Let the man go, that they may serve the Lord their God. Knowest not yet that Egypt is destroyed? And Moses and Aaron were brought again into Pharaoh, and he said unto them, Go, serve the Lord your God, but who are they that shall go? And Moses said, We will go with our young, and with our old, and with our son, and with our daughters, with our flocks, and with our herds will we go, for we must hold a feast unto the Lord. And he said unto them, Let the Lord be with you, as I will let you go, and your little ones. Look to it, for evil is before you. Not so. Go now, that ye are men, and serve the Lord. For that ye did desire, and they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Egypt, and eat every herb of the land, even all that the hail hath left. And Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. And the locusts went up over all the land of Egypt, for they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened, and they did eat every herb of the land, and all the fruit of the trees the hail had left, and there remained not any green thing in the trees or in the herbs of the field through all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste, and he said, I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Now therefore forgive, I pray thee, my sin only this once, and entreat the Lord your God, that he may take away from me this death only. 
And he went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord. And the Lord turned a mighty strong west wind, which took away the locusts and cast them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the borders of Egypt. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, so that he would not let the children of Israel go. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. And Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, Go ye, serve the Lord, only let your flocks and your herds be left behind. Let your little ones also go with you. And Moses said, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings, that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Our cattle also shall go with us, there shall not an hoof be left behind, for thereof must we take to serve the Lord our God. And we know not with what we must serve the Lord until we come there. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said unto him, Get thee from me, take heed to thyself, see my face no more, for in that day thou seest my face, thou shalt die. And Moses said, Thou hast spoken well, I will see thy face again no more. Amen. Mark chapter 8 In those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples unto him and said unto them, I have compassion on the multitude, because they have now been with me three days and have nothing to eat. And if I send them away fasting to their own houses, they will faint by the way, for some of them came from far. And his disciples answered him, From where can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? And he said to them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves, and gave thanks, and broke, and gave to his disciples to set before them, and they did set them before the people. And they had a few small fish, and he blessed, and commanded them to set them also before them. So they did eat, and were filled, and they took up of the broken pieces that were left seven baskets. And they that had eaten were about four thousand, and he sent them away. And straightway he entered into a boat with his disciples, and came into the parts of Dalmunuta. And the Pharisees came forth, and began to question with him, seeking of him a sign from heaven, testing him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit, and said, Why doth this generation seek after a sign? Verily I say unto you, There shall no sign be given unto this generation. And he left them, and entering into a boat again, departed to the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, neither had they in the boat with them more than one loaf. And he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, and of the leaven of Herod. And the reason among themselves, saying, It is because we have no bread. And when Jesus knew it, he said unto them, Why reason ye, because ye have no bread? Perceive ye not yet, neither understand. Have ye your heart yet hardened? Having eyes, see ye not? And having ears, hear ye not? And do ye not remember? When I broke the five loaves among five thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? They say unto him, Twelve. And when the seven among four thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? And they said, Seven. And he said unto them, How is it that ye do not understand? And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they be bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led them out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw anything. And he looked up, and said, I see men like trees walking. After that he put his hands again upon his eyes, and made him look up, and he was restored, and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. 
And Jesus went out and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Who do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Elijah, and others one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But who shall, but who say ye that I am? And Peter answereth and said unto him, Thou art the Christ. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, by the chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he spoke that saying openly, and Peter took him and began to rebuke him. And when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but the things that are of men. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And whosoever would save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever, therefore, shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Amen. Thank you, Father God, for this wonderful time that you have given us, O oh Father God. As we read through your words, we understood that how you are mindful about the people, O oh Father God. In the wilderness, you never send them away, O oh Father God. With few fishes and seven loaves, you satisfied them. You satisfied everyone's heart, O oh Father God. In the same manner, we submit our lives into our hearts, O oh Father God. Bless us and feed us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.